Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Thank you, Holy Ghost. We give God praise. I'm Sandra Buchanan, show host of High and Sharpener. We give God all the glory and praise. I'm in New York, upstate New York. And we have a great guest today in Iron Sharpener. It's an honor and a privilege to have him here today, Pastor Nazam Bacchus. Glory to God, all the way from the nation of Guyana. And God is just doing mighty things on Iron Sharpener and bringing um great speakers oracles of god so i'm truly blessed and i'm tru truly honored to have you sir on iron sharpener to just equip and educate uh, this generation amen so go right to ed sir and speak what's on your heart for the nations amen praise the lord i must say thank you to minister sandra for hosting me here this this evening i am so blessed and honored to be here to share with our viewers and even to um, be of a pillar of strength to the body of Christ. It is always a blessing and it is always a privilege to share the gospel of Jesus Christ. Um, without this program, it would have not been possible for us to reach the length and breadth of nations. And this afternoon, I am so happy that uh, Minister Sandra would have taken this initiative to put it as her, her utmost best and put it as her life dream to see the gospel being spread across the nation. So Minister, uh, kudos and um, a salute to the work that you have been doing. I trust that God will continue to expand your borders and... Um, may you be encouraged there will be struggles there will be challenges it will come but to make you stronger to make you um even much more tougher um you know sometimes god allows certain things to come against us to toughen us up you know many times we we may say why why am i going through this but the lord knows Amen. You cannot be a conqueror if you've never conquered. Amen. You cannot be a warrior if you've never fought a war. You cannot be an overcomer if you've never overcome anything. And so um, it is important that we understand um, in that context what I'm talking about. And, you know, we use the scripture so much, but we forget to, to understand that when we say that we are warrior, we have to fight wars. And when we say that we are conquerors, we will have to, we'll have to go through stuff in order for us to come through. And many times in our lives, we just don't want to go through stuff. We just want the easy way out. And um, and it's really not the best way out. You know, um, situations will come in our lives to um, increase our feet and cause our feet in Christ to be strengthened. You know, I. I can share this, Minister Sandra, this afternoon because, you know, um, a lot of times people say, God, why are you taking so long? Why um, am I going through what I'm going through? And, you know, I've been praying. I have been trusting you, Lord. I have been, you know, doing all that you require me to do and still yet. I've been praying for other people. They're having their miracles. They're having their breakthrough. What happened to me, God? And, um, you know, that's a question that a lot of people have. I want to share this testimony here live because seven years ago, God would have used a prophet, a man of God, to prophesy over our ministry and um, to tell us that the Lord will cause us to build buildings and give us properties that we had never owned and we have money to buy. And it's coming to pass. Today, we have our own property for one of the church that we are going to be building. And we did not have the money to buy it. But God provide and God send people. Um, you see, 
we must understand one thing God's will, God's bill. Amen. God's will, God's bill. As long as it's God's will, He will send provision along the way. We need not to worry. We need to go to Him and put it in prayers and trust Him. And it's important here this afternoon that no matter what we're going through, we must trust God. We must trust Him in every single thing. You know, and many times as human, we do want to question why, why I am going through what I'm going through. But I can tell you for a fact that if you don't go through the furnace and you don't go through the fire, the pure goal that God is expecting to shine through you cannot shine. And so it's important for us to go through. Testing and trials are there not to destroy us. It either makes us better or it either makes us bitter. And, um, you know, many times in our lives, we are at a point or a crossing point or we are at a place in our lives that we don't know where to go. But as the scripture said, I will neither look neither to the left, neither to the right, but I will look up to the hills whence cometh my help and my help cometh from the Lord. And so um, your viewers are here and here, um, you know, talking to you here. Seven years, us waiting for this property to be sold. And it was on the market for quite some time. And we were only praying and asking God, we don't have the finances. And then the Lord remind me his will, his bill. And you know, many times we get act up, we are trying our utmost best to get things done. And we will go the extra mile, maybe want to go to the bank and take a loan and to get this done and get that done. Listen, as long God says that he will do it, he will make provision for it. And, you know, um, and for the past month, I was so worried because, you know, um, we were so worried because of, you know, things were not happening the way we wanted it to happen and how fast it should happen. And then the Lord says that, let me rest in him, that he got this. You know, many times we want to be in that place where God should be and try to work it out. But I can tell you for a fact that, you know, that's not our place. Our place is to trust him. You know, and as we, you know, many times we travel through airplanes and trains and, and vehicles. We have never known who's driving or who is the driver personally, but we still yet trust him to take us to our destination. You know, and many times we put our trust in people that we don't even know on a daily basis. But, you know, if we know God, those who know him, he shall do exploit. Amen. You know, and so viewers, I, I want you to know that, you know, we all put trust in people at many times. But put your trust in God. He knows what's best for us. Even when we think that we know what's best for ourselves, he knows what's best for us. Today, we are seeing so many things happening in our nations. We're seeing so many testing and trials, so many turmoils, so many situations. The cost of living has gone up throughout the world. You know, uh, the groceries, things on the shelves are 50% are to 90% um, increased. Jobs has not been created. People are struggling. People are going through all kinds of stuff. Society has been plagued with more more of crimes and more of uh you know all kinds of stuff that is happening that never happened before there's an increase of violence there's an increase of chaos and and this time as believers we need to remember the word to put our trust in him the bible says that some put their trust in horses some put their trust in chariots but those that put their trust in the Lord, those that put their trust in the Lord. And so it's important for us to put our trust. I'm talking about trust this evening because it's important. Many of us may be going through our own stuff. We may be going through and you may say, oh, well, he don't know what I'm going through. Or iron sharpener doesn't know what I'm facing. They don't know the struggles. They don't know the pain. Of course, we don't know. But we know a man that named Jesus that once you put your trust in him, he will turn your mourning into dancing, your weeping into joy, your disappointment and good appointment, your stumbling block to become a stepping stone. 
He will take you from a nobody to a somebody, from a no place to some place. And, and it's important for us to understand, you know, God allow all of these things to happen in our lives just to prove that he and He, him alone will get the glory. And see, many times we, we think for a fact whatever we accomplish is we have accomplished it. But it wasn't for God. We would have never accomplished. We would have never been here. And so, I, you know, I'm, I'm here to encourage the audience here this afternoon. Where is your trust in? Who is your trust in? What are you trusting in? It? What are you trusting in? Who are you trusting in? Where is your trust? And it's important. And, and many times we put our trust in, in our money. We put our trust in people. We put our trust in our finances. But I can tell you for a fact, they all may fail. But when you put your trust in God, Hallelujah. he never fails us. No matter what we are going through, no matter where we are in our lives, if we put our trust in God, he will come true for us. He he's a God that never go back on his word. Amen. He's a God that never goes back on his word. Amen. What God says he will do, he will he will do exactly what he says he will do. Praise God. Amen. All he need is for us to trust him. Praise God. You know, and sometimes faith work with patience. Mm -hmm. And this is one of the one of the gifting of the Holy Spirit, patience. Mm -hmm. And and you know, it's one thing to have faith, but it's but it's another to have patience. Yeah. To endure. You know, and, and we would have quoted scriptures, the road is not, and we know some of these quotes, the road is not for the swift, but those who endure it to the end. But the the problem is, is the endurance in the journey. That's it. You know, and not a lot of people want to, to go through that process, that journey. And 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 the endurance, you know, a lot, a lot of people, when they come under pressure, they're buckled. They, they give up, you know, but it's important for us to understand it is in those times that if we put our trust in God, he will see us through. He will make a way where there seems to be no way. He will cause nothing to come out of something. Amen. Are you hearing? And he, he, he is a God that is able to do anything because he is God. And our human mind cannot comprehend the mysteries of this God that we serve. We may not have the knowledge neither to, to comprehend what God is able to do. But my, my beloved, let us trust God. Let us trust him. When we put our trust in people, they will fail. When we put our trust in our resources, they will fail. But when we put our trust in Jesus, when we put our trust in God, I assure you, he will never fail. Our ministry waited for seven years, six years, going to seven years now to be exact. And we've been waiting for that prophecy to come to pass. Yes, there were times we were saying, God, why are you taking so long? You know, we are not having the finances and the, 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 the seller is ready to sell. But the Lord will always remind us in his word to trust him. Are you trusting God today? Who are you trusting today? It's a big question that we need to ask ourselves. What are we trusting in today? You know, and I may not have all the answers to tell you who you're trusting in, but I know who I trust in. I know who Minister Sandra, she would know who she trusts in. But who are you trusting in today? You know, a lot of people will put their trust in science. A lot of people put their trust in people, in the government. They will put their trust in their wealth. But when you put your trust in God, I assure you that he will never, ever fail you. Amen. Never fail. He will never fail. Ladies and gentlemen, I want to encourage you. I want to admonish you. I want 
to, for you to understand that faith worketh out patience and it's important for us to wait on God, not to be in a hurry. And many times we are in a hurry. Many times we are always hurried to get things done. But those that wait upon the Lord, good things come to them that wait. Good things come to them that wait. I want to encourage us. Remain steadfast in prayer, in hope, in faith. God will come true. Whatever he said, that is exactly he, what he will do. That is exactly what he will do. So I want to encourage us. Hold on to God. Hold on to his word. Mm. And we may be busy doing all that we're doing. Busy at work, working, becoming a workaholic, working 24-7, seven, seven days a week. But I can tell you for a fact, hold on to God, trust in his word, and watch him move in your life. You know, and Minister Sandra, if I must say, and it's important because today we find that people don't have the time or the patience. You know, they're always in a hurry. And I've, I've been telling people today, take it one day at a time, step by step, sure. little by little. You know, in Guyana, we have a slang that we say, and, um, and, I, and I can say this here today. You guys can get this, this slang in our language. We have a Creole language or a local language that we said, one, one, dotty, biladam. What does that mean? It says one, if I put, put it in your perspective, one, one brick will eventually build a dam. Mm. And our Creole slang or Guyanese language there is one, one dotty, build the dam. It means that it is not overnight this thing will happen, but it will have to take its course. It will have to take its time and we'll have to go by it day by day, step by step. I know sometimes people want everything happen all at once. You know. That's true. You know, and we, we, we think that we can sit down and, you know, we call on God and he pour it down on us. But don't get up and get. Don't don't go in prayers and supplication. Don't go in trust in him. You know, and, and many times people say, well, I have been praying. I have been fasting. I have been, I have been trusting God. And I'm still not seeing things happen in my life. Don't give up. It's, it's going to happen. But what we got to understand, God's time is not always our time. You know, and so we have we, we have seen many parts in the scriptures. It would have talked about, Amen, uh, and it would have it would have shown us many times people would have run out of patience, run out because they're not seeing things happening. You know, in Guyana here, when people don't see, they come to church and they don't see. They come to church and they don't see things are happening for them. They've gone somewhere else looking for help. But, and when I'm saying somewhere else, people are more in a hurry to get things fixed so they can move on with their lives. They, they so want this thing to happen. In all desperation, they will go the extra mile to make it happen. But eventually they make it worse. I've seen in our nation that people come to the church, the body of Christ, and they would have come and they expect God to heal them on their time. But this God, he, he is God. And when we are in a hurry, he knows how to, to let us understand that he is not a God that works on our terms. He's a God that works according to his time, his plans, and his purpose. And many times in our lives we question, God, why? Why are you taking so long? You know, why? Why am I the one going through this? You know, then why should it not be you? You know, we ask the question, why me? But why shouldn't it be you? 
you know. Um, and if you think about it, if I say that I am a conqueror, I am a warrior, I'm an overcomer, and I don't want to go through anything, well then, why why I am calling myself a conqueror? Why am I calling myself a warrior? That's why true. Am I calling myself an overcomer? And you know, and and we we use the word of God. Amen. And we don't see that it is it is that very same word that we use. You know, God allows our faith to be tested and tried in. That's right. That very same word that we use. You know, you know, when we tell people, Oh, I have a very strong faith. Well, if you tell people that you have a strong faith, get ready to have some tough battles. Exactly. <laughs> You know, get ready to have some challenging times, you know, and great faith will have to have great battles. Higher the level, always bigger the devil. That's right. <laughs> and as you get higher, as you go closer with God, you're not going to be fighting, you know, the devils that you fought in your past. You're not be fa you will not be facing the same challenge you faced before. As you get closer to God, you will have bigger challenges. Mm -hmm. You'll you have to fight bigger devils. You'll encounter bigger situations. But in all of that, if when we look at Daniel, sorry, when we look at David, matter of fact, David was a man that walks and seek after the heart of God. He was a man that loves God. And we saw when he told the king, when he was going against Goliath, he said, I have fought the bears with my own hands and I have fought the lion with my own hands and the Lord has delivered them unto me. This uncircumcised Philistines, uncircumcised Philistines, the Lord shall deliver him. And you see many times, we are in situation and we forget that the Lord is our deliverer. God is our deliverer. And it's important that we see David full trust in his God. David full faith in his God. Many times, just like the story with David there, many times people want to throw their weight on you. And we saw what King Saul did. He said, David, if you're going into battle, well, take my armor. armor. Take my sword. Amen. Take my, and, 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 and what, what, what is it that I'm trying to get here? Many times people will put their weight on you and say, look, listen, this is going to help you. And I love what David said. Listen, I didn't, I, I, I didn't train with armors and sword. My training wasn't done with armors and sword. My training was done with my hands and with the sling and the stones. I know to work with that. And so many times God is not expecting us to, to imp he don't want us to impress him, first place. He don't want us to, 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 to try to be on a side that would want to impress him of, of what we can do. No, he, he's a God that wants us to come as we are to him. He's a God that wants his people to understand that you can come to him and he will work with what you have. You know, and many times we try to pray like everybody else. We, we, we try to fast like everybody else. But wor what works for you wouldn't work for me. That's true. And, and, and so it's important for us to understand each one of us will come to God. And as we come to God, measures will be given to us according to our feet. Amen. Measures. That's and another so, we are out of time. I'm so sorry to interrupt you. That's why we have part two. Glory to God. For those who are watching Iron Sharpener for the first time, this is a platform that God has given us 
so that we could sharpen this generation with knowledge, with the words of truth, with insight, revelation from the heavens, from Jesus Christ himself. Glory to God. And tonight we are so honored to have uh, Pastor Nazam all the way from Guyana. He spoke the word of truth and uh, you should go back and watch this video, share it on YouTube, like, subscribe the channel of Iron Sharpener. Glory to God. We're going to take a break and then um, we're going to close it out and then stay tuned for part two. Glory to yeah. God. In final words, uh, Pastor Nazam, can you just pray for the nations right now? Take um, a minute and pray for the nations. Amen. I'll, 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 I'll try that. Father, in the name of Jesus, Lord, we thank you, God, because you are God and you're real. You are mighty and you are powerful, Lord God. We thank you, Lord, as we stand together, Lord, and as we pray for our nation, Lord. We pray for every nation, Lord. We pray for the nation of Israel and the, the nations, oh God, that is, oh God, upon the face of this earth. Lord, we pray for every system. We pray for every government. We pray that God, that your Holy Spirit uh, and the fear of God will be upon your people, Lord. Today we pray that, Lord, we have seen so many things are happening. Oh, God, your word is coming to pass, and we pray that today that more people will see that the word of God, the prophecies in the end times, the prophecies of the Bible is coming to pass, and Lord, I pray even, Lord, oh, God, Noah preached, oh, God, over 120 odd years, he preached the gospel. Oh, God, and people, oh, God, did not hear it, Lord. They were hardening their hearts and their ears. But I pray that nations will begin to open, hearts will be open, ears will be open to hear the voice of God. Oh God, hear the, the word of God being, being preached and, and the message, oh God, to be will spring forth out of Iron Sharpener and many other programs as this platform has been used, Lord, to spread the gospel to the nations. We pray that lives will be saved. We pray that people that who have never heard the gospel will have encounter of Jesus Christ. I pray that today that souls will be won, Lord. I pray that God, today it is all about the battle of the soul. And so today we are praying in the name of Jesus. You will rise up, oh God, men and women of God that will launch forth, oh God, that will be anointed and appointed by you, God, to preach the gospel in every street, in every home, in every village, in every countryside, in every city. Oh God, we pray that, Lord, that you will rise up such a generation like never before that will take this gospel to the next level. I give you praise and I give you thanks in Jesus' mighty name. Amen. 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 Thank you, sir. We're going to end this broadcast. Thank you, everyone, for watching. Glory to God. And I pray that you are blessed in Jesus' name. Stay tuned. There's a few business Amen. I want to announce. If you're in the Atlanta, Georgia area, Hello, I'm Sandra Buchanan from Iron Sharpener Podcast. When I first started the program, I had no listeners, I had no experience, and definitely had no budget. The only thing I knew I had was a passion to reach the public with messages of hope, messages of health, and messages with the love of God. It is only through the grace of God that I now reach people all over the world with my podcasts and video programs on my website, ironsharpener.net. We showcase doctors, governmental officials, preachers, teachers, business owners, and everyday people who share their inspirational stories of how they have been able to succeed in life. And these powerful testimonies have helped thousands and improved their situation. I am very proud of the positive difference that my Iron Sharpener programs are making. And now, because of our successes, we have an exciting opportunity to take our Iron Sharpener programs to CBS. Help Iron Sharpener to continue to provide 
positive content to help grow our audience. Sitkino International Ministry is our parent organization and we are a registered 501c3 charity. And not only do we use our funds to support our iron sharpener programs, but we also support various organizations that work to end human trafficking and assist widows and orphans in the U.S. and internationally. Please give generously so that we can make the world a better place. And stay tuned for more uplifting and exciting videos on ironsharpener.net. Thank you.